Hey friends, it's Takedeiris. So today, we are at Motoyawate Station. Now you might be wondering, why did we come all the way over to Chiba? Well, it's because right now we are headed to one of Japan's most banned forests called Yawate no Yabushirazu. But this is one of Japan's most banned forests. Now, it's not really clear cut as to why entry is restricted. There's a couple of stories surrounding it. One of them is that there is a belief that once you enter this forest, you can no longer escape. But I'm gonna go over there and see what this is all about. There's been a couple of people that have gone there and have been able to take some pictures like around the surrounding area Some people that have been able to get some shots into the forest But we're gonna go there and I'm just gonna see what we can do now I would normally want to do this at night because it seems really cool But considering that we can't even go in I think we'll get a better shot of this during the day So let's see what happens. Bop. Okay, we're at the convenience store right now I kind of want to ask the guy that's working at the front if he knows anything about this forest since it's only like five minutes away from here. Hey guys, Post Aki here. I just wanted to share something I've realized. You know, during all of my travels to abandoned and haunted areas, I've come to realize that convenience stores are just modern day taverns. The staff just know shit about the area wanting to tell young travelers such as ourselves. So take note of that. If you ever come to Japan and you want to know some information about something, go into the nearest konbini and ask the staff if you know enough Japanese and I guarantee you somebody's gonna know something. <laughs> あの、<笑> Oh, we're here. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's right here, right next to the konbini. I just realized that's the konbini that we were just at. We're already here. I don't see anyone getting lost in this. Like, I need. I don't know how deep this goes, but. Anyone who gets lost in here, I think you might just be blind. Unless there's like something in it, like a portal to another dimension. Wait, where's our friend? Did he go in? No! He went in! Okay, so... Okay, so there's the main road right here. And here's the forest. This is the entirety of the forest. This doesn't look that bad. Why is this restricted? I don't understand. Wait, did you say something scary happened? Yeah, his coke exploded. Oh, pfft. that sucks. All right, well, but this isn't the front. I think we should look for the front entrance. It, it feels like it almost doesn't belong. Oh, wow. Okay, we, we just reached the front and this is, this is actually really cool. Let me turn the camera around. Wow, you know, I have never heard bamboo trees actually like sway. I hope that the camera gets it, but when the wind comes, I kind of want you guys to hear the bamboo just like hitting each other. I think that this forest looks more cool than anything and I'm gonna bet that the whole like being forbidden from entering if you have to ask me is probably just to keep this forest just maintained so that people don't destroy it because it actually looks beautiful. I hope that the camera can get this but whenever there's like a big gust of wind the bamboo trees just swaying and hitting one another. Oh like right now? There's something very zen about it. Also, it's kind of messing with my head a little bit because the sky almost feels like it's swaying back and forth. 
I've never actually seen bamboo trees like sway, especially this much. Not a lot of bamboo in Las Vegas. Now, as far as it being forbidden from entering, there's a whole bunch of scary stories surrounding this. Whatever you want to believe as far as the rumors and the stories go, if you ask me, I think that all of these rumors are just to keep people away, mainly to protect the forest because it actually looks really, really cool. And I can see that there is some signs of maintenance here. I see some trees that have fallen due to being professionally cut and not even naturally cut. Like this whole area is like way too clear. Somebody must be in here just like keeping an eye on this forest and maintaining it. Let's see, can we look through here? Whoa. Oh, I kind of wish I could walk through this though. This looks so cool. I just said a little prayer to just to pay some respects whenever I go to these locations. If there's like a little temple or whatever, um, I think it's just the right thing to do. I think when you're traveling to Japan especially, um, if you do see a temple and you plan to like stick around the area, it's just nice to at least pay some level of respects while you're there. Also, you guys can hear the chime in the back. That's getting louder. You guys hear that music? I don't know where that's coming from. It's somewhere over there. It's getting louder. Is it coming from the forest? Is this a sign for me to leave? It's like, it's like the heavenly gates have opened. This place is cool though. I would say that this is one of those areas that you definitely visit once you've like lived in Japan long enough. Um, you kind of just look for little obscure areas like this. It looks like a huge forest behind me, but it's really not that big. The end of the forest is literally like right here. And the other end of the forest is right there. You see that? It's, it's really not that big. And it's not even that deep either. Actually, granted, it's not even a lot of trees now that I'm looking at it. Oh, what does this say? I know that this is way beyond my Japanese level. Jose is here to help me translate, but there was one sentence here that I do understand, and it's this whole thing right here. So, haitara dete korare nai mise. Like, once it was believed, once you enter, you couldn't exit. And then this whole bit, I think you translated it as like you would you would be cursed if you did get out, right? right? It says right here that if you do enter, oh, if you, you do will, enter, you will be like given like a curse. Okay. And it, this is also like it was widely noted uh, in different countries, right? Like this is a famous kind of place in different countries because that's what it was said. Oh, okay. Place. Okay. What did the guy who maintains this do? Did he like get a special card? To not get cursed. Oh my god, my, my guy is fun for all of you. Yeah. <laughs> He's cursed. Yeah, yeah. Those fantasmas. So much fantasmas. <laughs> fantasmas. Do you know what fantasmas means? Put it in the comments below. It's official that this was and still is in some degree still believed about this forest. It's the only difference is that I guess back then that this forest used to be bigger, right? Yeah. But now it's been cut down to size. So maybe the curse has kind of like shrunk a bit. I don't know. But I think this part that we translated kind of gets the point across, I would like to think. So here's the Tori Gate. And that's the temple. That is the entirety of the temple. All right, well, I think I'm going to bow first. There's an open can here. There's a little bag of, I want to say like biscuits there. This is locked up. I wonder if I can look inside. What's in there? What is it? Yeah, I can't tell what this is. So that's a temple. Here's another part of it. Let's see this. There's another hole here. I feel like these are put in intentionally. Can I see in there? You guys can see anything? No? So yeah, that was Yawata no Yabushirazu. Try saying that three times fast. But if you guys are ever in Japan and you guys want to find this place, it is in Chiba Prefecture. It's about five minutes away from the station. I'll put a link in the description for more info about this area. Um, obviously, I'm not really sponsored. I just figured to come here because I had a free day today. It's golden week, so why not treat myself? But yeah, this place is cool. I think I'm going to take a few more pictures and then probably head out and have some fun. But I appreciate you guys for watching and subscribe to my channel for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!